Hello, my name is Didi. Today I'm going to show you how to cook the Whale Island food. We call it Manger la Thai, food from home. We're going to start it with, uh, with the ox tail. Let me wash my hands. We call it legume. It's a mix, mix meat. This is the oxtail, and this is a beef chicken steak. We're gonna cut these pieces. So we have everything already washed, and this is crab. Everything is already washed. What I do is a small size crab. So what I do, after I wash it, I just take those little tiny leg out. The crab is supposed to give your, your legume, which is a mixed vegetable all together with the meat. So the crab was supposed to give it a, a nice, nice flavor. Gonna get everything out, so that's good. We wash it with really clean with lemon. And then we have the oxtail quick cut. And then wash it. And it's called beef chicken steak. It's really, really juicy. All you have to do is rinse it out. And you're gonna cut it pieces. Make it like four to five pieces because it's gonna be delicious. Mix it together. Then, when you finish cut it, you're gonna put um, all your season. I'm gonna show you what season I use, but really, you could put whatever season you like. But um, you have to put season with salt so therefore you don't have to you don't have to put no salt on it because you don't want too much salt on it it's season season salt is it's enough to give it all the flavor you need it Now we're gonna mix it together with everything. On my cooking, I only use vegetable oil. This is very healthy. Cholesterol free, all the stuff. And then I, I love to put a little oil on my meat before I steam it. For some reason, it make it really nice and juicy. Then I'm ready for my season. My favorite one, of course, is Larry. You put that. And then my next one would be Jerk Season. This is really good with that. Not your season, which is good. Give it a little bit 
pepper on it. And of course, you must add your accent for flavor. Put that in. A uh, little black pepper. The black pepper is really up to you. But some people don't eat black pepper. So I'm going to put a little bit in there anyway. Just to let you know that you could put any season you want. Okay, now I'm going to mix it together. This is like for a big family. So I'm going to have a couple of people over. And they're going to eat with us. And they're going to tell us how do they like it. But mm, you must try it. It is good. So I'm done with this. I want to let it sit for... I'll say five, seven minutes. Then I'm gonna put it in a pot and I'm gonna cook it for about 10 and 15 minutes. So this is done. Let us see. What I'm gonna cook with that particular uh, meat, um, oxtail, beef and chicken steak, and a crab. We call it legume, but in English it's a, it's a mixed vegetable with everything. So, wash my hands. We're gonna get this swelly while this is sitting down. Then what we're going to put in there is um, squash. All right, this is a squash. I know when I go to Publix and buying this, people always ask me, what is this? What do you do with it? I try it and I cook it. It's this. They have no flavor. Of course, they have no flavor. Absolutely no flavor whatsoever. The only way you're gonna give it the flavor is mix it with the with the meat. The same meat I just seasoned. So I'm gonna cut it. You cut it, and I do like to peel it, of course. And I'm gonna boil it together with um, a lot of stuff. I have an uh, eggplant. This is the best, the eggplant. And then when you mix all those together, you boil them for like 10 and 15 minutes. And then you kind of mush it up together and you put it together with the meat and you let it cook again for another 10 minutes and you get your white rice ready mm, God, it is good you gotta try that so we're done with this then this and the next one is the eggplant even though you could do your legume with any kind of vegetable but if you don't put the eggplant it's gonna miss a lot so i'm gonna